Hello everyone, welcome back. And today we are looking at question 21, which is merge two sorted lists. So as always, we will read the question, then the examples, then go to the blackboard, explain all the theory, then finally come back here, code the solution out and look at the time and space complexity. So let's get straight into it. We are given the heads of two sorted linked lists, list one and list two. And the question says, to merge the two lists in one sorted list, okay? And at the end, just return the head of the new merged linked list. So let's look at example one. List one is composed of node one, two, four. List two is composed of nodes one, three, and four. And as we can see the output, we are going to go from one to one, then to two, then to three, then to four, and then to four. Example two gives us two empty lists, so the merged linked list would be an empty list. Finally, example three giving us that list one is empty, list two contains one node, so the merged list will contain of one node, which is the node in list two. The constraints are saying that in each linked list, the number of nodes can go from empty list all the way to 50 nodes in the list. The node value can be from negative 100 to 100. So here, instead of one, we can have negative 99, negative 100, etc. And they are saying that both list one and list two are sorted in non-decreasing order. In other words, both lists are sorted in an increasing order from small to large. Now let's go to the blackboard and explain everything. Here we are. So now let's look at the approach that we will take. You see, the easiest thing to do is basically to compare the two heads of these two linked lists, the head of list one compared with the head of list two, and we will take the smaller value, and this will be the head of the new expected linked list. So let's compare the head of list one with the head of list two. It doesn't matter. Let's just pick one of them since both of them are equal. I will take this one, it does not matter. And now basically the head two will come here. And since we are done with this one, we can just omit it. And we will compare again, head one with head two, which is smaller. Now head one is smaller. So we will take the node that head one is pointing to. Okay, just like this. And now move head one. Okay, now we will do that again, which is smaller, the node that head one is pointing to, or the node that head two is pointing to. Of course, the node that head one is pointing to, so we'll take it and now move head one. Okay, so now let's compare four with three, we will take three. Okay, so now let's see between four and four. It doesn't matter since they are equal, I will just pick the blue one to match the picture. And now notice that head two will point to null. And as soon as one of the heads point to null, we just will take the other linked list and attach it to the result. So we'll take all of this, put it here, and we are done. Now the our linked list match the expected. So let's see how this is implemented using recursion. And I will show you the call stack and exactly how every steps happen in the call stack. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are. Before I come to all of this, I just want you to remember. In the last minute, we were comparing the heads of the two lists and we were picking the smaller one, right? And we advanced the head to the next node. Basically, each time we do that, one of the lists is getting smaller. So in a sense, we are creating sub problems and we were kept doing that until one of the heads reached null. Since we are creating sub problems, this is the perfect case for recursion. In recursion, basically, we want to take this big um, problem and keep dissecting it into smaller and smaller parts until we reach one point, which we will call the base case. Okay, now I will go through the code line by line, show you how everything interacts in the call stack. I will come back to the base case at the end because it will make sense that way. So one, we said we want to figure out the head of the new sorted linked list. So the program starts here and we, here we have list one and we have list two. Instead of writing the head, I created two pointers. One pointer is called list one, one pointer is called list two. Like from here on lead code, 
we are giving the list one and list two as parameters. So this is list one and this is list two. Okay, now, so we will compare which is smaller, list one dot value or list two dot value. In this case, they are equal. So this if statement will return false and we will go to the else. So now we will create a head, right? And this head will point somewhere. Since we went to the else, the head will point to what list two pointer is pointing at. Since list two is pointing to one, we will create a head and this head will point to one. Now, we need to advance list two. So list two will be advanced from one to three and let's omit this. Okay, now here we are at the recursive step. As we saw, now list two is pointing to three, um, which is connected to four. Okay, so now we are saying head.next, here is the head. The head is pointing to one, so head.next is this pointer basically, and we want to see, should this point to three, or should this point here to one? So we are saying head.next is equal. We are calling the function again, which is merge two lists, and we will pass list one, list two. But notice how list one stayed the same. However, list two now is pointing to three instead of one. So we are creating a smaller problem. It's a sub problem. List two is getting smaller. So the function will pause until we solve this recursion. So we will go from here follow the arrow to here. This is the next step. As we saw, list two is pointing to three. So here is list two pointing to three and three is connected to four. And we said that list one is not changing. So Niha, we have list one with nodes one, two, four, and we have list two with only two nodes, three and four. So let's see. We need to figure out what is the head. We will make a head pointer and we want to figure out where this head needs to point. So is list one smaller than list two. Well, yes, one is smaller than three. So this head, so this is true. And this head will point to list one. Since the list one is pointing to one, this head will also point to one. And now list one equals list one next. We need to advance list one. So list one will not be here. And list one will come to here. Okay. And now the recursive step again head.next, this pointer needs to point somewhere. So we will call the merge to list function again, and we will pass list one and list two. But now list two stays the same, but list one is getting smaller since list one is now pointing to two, and of course two is connected to four. So now we will follow the arrow and we are here. Now we have a new sub problem with two lists. List one is here, list two is here. So now, is list one null? False. Is list two null? No. So now we want to make a head pointer and this head pointer will point somewhere. Okay, so is list one dot value smaller than list two dot value? That's true. So now this head will point to list one and thus we have this. This head is pointing to list one and now we need to advance list one. So remove list one from here and now it will be here. Okay. Now we go to the recursive step again. Head.next equal merge two lists L1 and L2. L2 stays the same, but L1 is getting smaller one more time. So we will follow the arrow and we are here. Okay, so list one is composed only for one node and list two has two nodes. So let's check the base case. Is list one null? No. Is list two null? No. Okay. So we want to make a head pointer and this head pointer will point somewhere. Okay. So is list one dot value smaller than list two dot value false. So we will go to the else and the head will point to L2. So since list two is pointing to three, the head will also point to three. And now we need to advance the L2 pointer. Again, the recursive step. We will pass these two lists, but now L2 is getting smaller. So we, let's follow the arrow and here we are here. Okay. Again, the base case, neither of them is null. So we'll, so we will again make a new head and this head will point somewhere. And as we can see, list one dot value is four, list two dot value is four, 
4 is not less than 4, so we will go to the else. And now the head will point to where list 2 is pointing at. Since list 2 is pointing here, the head will also point here, and now we need to advance L2. As you can see, the list 2 pointer is now pointing to null. And now let's call the recursive step. List 1 is this, but now list 2 pointer is pointing to null. So now we are passing null. So now let's see what happens. Okay, is list 1 equals null? No. Is list 2 equals null? Yes. So now we need to return list 1. Here's list 1. So this is the end of the call stack and now we will basically come back from all the way top all the way into down. Since in stack it's basically last in first out. So this is the last in and now this is to be the first thing that comes out. Okay, so we are saying head.next equals merge two lists and we're gonna pass L1 and null. But we just said that this is equals to um, the previous step. So we can replace all of this with just, we can replace all of this with this. And this is basically head.next. This is head. So now head.next, which is this pointer, will point to this green thing. So now we have head, which is going to point to 4, and this 4 will point to here. Again, we are going to go down. Head.next equals merge to lists, list 1, list 2. This will be replaced with the previous step. The previous step was this 4 and 4. So here we have it. And this will be connected to head.next. The head is pointing to 3. Head.next is this arrow. So this arrow will point to this. Again, we will replace this function with 3, 4, 4, null. Here it is. And now this will be connected to head.next. Again, we are coming down again. So we will place that function with all of this. Here we have 2, 3, 4, 4, null. This will be connected to head.next. Here is head.next. It will be connected to this. And now finally, we have the last thing. We will replace all of this with that, with this. Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and null. And this will be connected to head.next. So head is pointing here head.next is this so this will be connected to all of this okay now we filled the whole arm um, call stack and we popped everything from it so now basically this is the end result right this is the end result here so at the end we just want to return this head as we said return head and this head is connecting to is connected to all of this and this is basically the expected outcome so this is how the call stack happens in memory so now let's code it out in lead code and it will be exactly like this okay so now here we are at lead code and let's code the solution so one we need to write the base case we said the base case is if list one is null we need to return the rest of list two and if list two is null we need to return the rest of list one so let's write it out okay now we said we need to make a head so list node head and now, where this head should point to? This head will be the head of the new sorted linked list. So basically, if list1.value is less than list2.value, this head will point to list1. So head equals list1. And we said we need to advance list1. So list1 equals list1.next. And now we said else the head will point to list2. So the head is equal to list2. And now list2, we need to advance it, equals list2.next. And now we said we want to make the recursive step. So we said head.next equals merge um, two lists. And we want to pass list1 and list2. So list1, comma, list2. And at the end, just return the head. Let's 
look at the code just one last time. So we wrote the base case, then we we made the new head, and we said if list one dot value is less than list two dot value, the head will point to list one, and list one will equal list one dot next. Else we will do this. Finally, we have the recursive step, which is head dot next equals merge two lists. We will pass list one, list two, and each time either list one will be smaller or list two will be smaller, and we will keep doing that until one of them reaches no. And at the end, just return the head, which will point to the new hand of the new sorted link list. Okay, so let's run the code and let's submit. Okay, it's faster than 100%, so that's good. So now let's look at the time and space complexity. So in terms of the time complexity, we went through the nodes of list one, we went through the nodes of list two, and assuming that we have n nodes in list 1 and m nodes in list 2, the time complexity would be big O of n plus m. And now, since we used recursion, and as we saw in the um, blackboard, we were using the call stack, and we can make basically n plus m calls, right? So the space complexity would be big O of n plus m, since this is the size of the call stack. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, um, best of luck to you, and see you in the next one.